I'm Nitty Scott MC, a new lyrical MC on the scene. Uh, Rep in Brooklyn, here to represent my Boombox family, just the way I was raised, music, movement. I left home when I was 17 years old, um, left Florida um, to come to New York to pursue my dreams. And, um, you know, I went through my ups and downs and, you know, had to establish myself in a very unfamiliar territory. Um, you know, I was on my own and everything. So it's like I, I have, you know, stories of, of struggle and, you know, and pain and sacrifice for this. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, it, it worked. <laughs> you know, it worked. Um, you know, my game plan was to leave home, come to New York, and, you know, make a name for myself. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So, you know, it all worked out for the best. And um, even though New York wasn't always very nice to me, you know, I got through it. And um, it just made me a better person and, and helped me to take those experiences and apply them to my music. And it makes me that much more relatable. Nobody ever uh, approached me and told me that I should, you know, try this rap thing or I would look good or anything like that. Um, it was it was something that I completely just came up with out of not only just being a music lover and just wanting to be a part of that, but um, you know, having something to say and um, being this humanitarian and this social advocate that felt a need to speak out against certain things and was trying to find an outlet, you know, to do that. Different people express themselves in different ways. Um, you know, and some people just straight out say it. Some people just get into, you know, public speaking. So um, hip hop music, you know, was definitely my, my outlet in order to do that. It goes down different ways all the time, but I am definitely a pen and pad, you know, type of girl. It, it is a process in nature. Um, writing is meant to, to, to go back and be edited and revised. And I get, a, I get kind of a thrill out of um, tweaking and, and crafting something to perfection before I put it out. For an artist, like me at least, it's never done. Your work is never completely done and you'll always be able to go back to your material and find a way that you could have made it better or add something else to it. So um, some of my older stuff is like I can't even listen to it because I get better and better um, every day, every week, every month. So it's like, you know, if you would have given me that beat now, I would have done something completely different. And, you know, it's just, it's funny, but um, that's, that's the writer in me, so. <laughs> I think it's a misconception that you have to represent you know, a certain thing and, and you have to be signed. You can make it as an indie artist, you know, you can you can make a living if you build your brand and you're willing to put in the work and build this foundation for yourself. You can make a living off of your music, do exactly what you love, say exactly what you want to say, have creative control over your situation and not be bound by so many, you know, just a lot of the pressures that come along with having mainstream success. You know, if people would just put their art out there for, for what it is and kind of um, attack different lanes and different ways of going about it, I think we'd have way more people, you know, rocking, making good music. Yo. Misery loves company, so you can call me lonely. Inhabiting the island of Coney and I am only 5'2", but I'm higher than you. Tiny and mighty when she thought of highly like Aphrodite. Trying to solve the blindness, cooking something timeless. My generation on my back, these other niggas spineless. But these words can only help you if you're ready to receive them. So believe them. I seek to be like God, I guess that makes me odd. Skip the FM straight to your iPod, it's one love. Your heartstrings I tug, we keep on, cause we on hip hop and other drugs. See, I've been to the bottom, so I'm looking at the top. Now you want a pit stop in my thoughts and shop. <laughs> Young skin, new sound, oh so. Ill mind, real grind, so bold. Famous fickle, so I strive to make a statement. Ain't gotta sign the dotted line to feel like I made it. If hip hop died, we'll welcome the replacement. I'm changing entertainment with my ear to the pavement. What's up, this is Nitty Scott MC, and we're on blowhiphoptv.com.